Everyone who becomes interested in the world of tarot reading is quickly faced with an important question. Which deck do I buy? So you may also ask yourself, like, why are there so many different types of tarot decks? How do I know which deck is best for me? Or how do I know the meanings and like how to learn the card meanings of every different deck? Today, there seems to be a seemingly endless selection of tarot decks available. At first glance, they all appear to be completely different too. Throw in the many variations of Lenormand and Oracle decks, and then it's easy to get confused and feel paralyzed with way too many options and you can't choose. But this video will sort it all out for you. So I'm gonna explain the differences between the Rider Waite Smith deck and Rider Waite Smith based decks, the Thoth deck, the Marseille deck, and the Lenormand cards, and then help you all pick out the best one for your own goals. Hello, if you don't know me, I'm Angie Green from The Simple Tarot, and this channel and everything The Simple Tarot does is all about helping you to read the cards with clarity, confidence, and compassion, so you can then deepen your relationship to yourself, to the people around you, and the universe at large. I'm also the creator of The Simple Tarot Deck, which is a Rider Waite Smith based deck that is perfect for beginners because it has the keywords printed right on the cards. You can see that deck used a lot on this channel and you can also get your own copy by clicking on the link down below here in the description. The Simple Tarot Deck is based on the Rider Waite Smith tradition, but what does that actually mean? The Rider Waite Smith deck or RWS for short, that tarot deck is the most popular tarot deck in use today. Most of the modern tarot decks you can find through like Kickstarter, on Amazon, or in your local tarot shop are all based on this deck in one way or another. So once you know the general meanings of the cards based on the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, you can then read, easily read, any of these Rider Waite Smith based tarot decks because they kind of all use the same general format, meanings, and symbols. The name Rider Waite Smith comes from the fact that it was published by the Rider Company. It was based on the research of Arthur Edward Waite, Rider Waite, and illustrated by Pamela Coleman Smith, Smith, Rider Waite Smith. This deck was originally published in 1909 and has been become the most popular deck in the entire world. So each deck seems to have like a certain voice to it, almost as if the deck itself has its own personality. And the traditional original Rider Waite Smith deck feels lighthearted, but also really direct. And it gives very clear and understandable mean readings, meanings. Each tarot deck is set up using the same structure too. So Rider Waite Smith decks um, contains 78 cards. Each card has its own unique meaning. They are divided into two groups called the Major Arcana and the Minor Arcana. The Major Arcana consists of 22 cards that start with the Fool and ends with the World. And these represent major life lessons, events, archetypes, and experiences. In Rider Waite Smith deck or Rider Waite Smith based decks, the minor arcana is then made up of the remaining 56 cards. So these are further divided into four suits, just like a deck of playing cards. Each um, suit though in the tarot represents one of the four classical elements. So the suit of pentacles represents the element of earth. The suit of the cups represents water. The suit of wands represents the fire element and the suit of swords represents air. Now, each suit of the Minor Arcana is then made up of 14 cards, with four cards as court cards depicting people, the page, knight, queen, and king. The others are labeled with numbers, one through 10, with the ace representing number one. The Minor Arcana court cards actually, they usually represent people in your life, or maybe roles that you need to play. And the numbered cards usually represent small events, stories, or situations. So what made this deck, the Rider Waite Smith deck, different from earlier decks, and probably one of the reasons it became so popular, is that each of the minor arcana cards is illustrated with little narrative scenes and symbols 
images and stories. Instead of just looking like playing cards with like four hearts on it, it's actually got four coins being interacted with in a narrative structure. So this made them easier to learn the meanings and easier to read. And it's one of the reasons that people love this deck to this day. So that was the Rider Waite Smith deck. But now going back in time a little earlier, the Marseille cards could be considered to be like the parental figure of the Rider Waite Smith tarot. So the earliest traces of similar cards to the Marseille cards go back to the 15th century or so. So originally these cards, the original tarot, they were used in a game called Taroc, uh, T-A-R-O-C, in Italy and then France, which has nothing to do with uh, the way we use tarot cards today, it has nothing to do with divination or psychic powers or personal development. It was, these cards were um, just like playing cards, like you'd play with poker. So these cards laid the foundation of the structure of the tarot and sort of in a sense, all other decks, all other tarot decks have been derived from the original Tarot playing cards. So the Marseille tarot actually is sort of the bridge between the Tarot cards and the Rider Waite Smith tarot. And the Marseille deck is divided into major arcana and minor arcana cards, just like the Rider Waite Smith deck. However, the numbered cards of the minors in the Marseille deck don't show any narrative scenes. They just look like playing cards, which is, let's, we'll have a pretty um, pattern of batons, which they call the wands, the swords, the cups, and coins, which they call the pentacles. Now, because there are no narrative scenes on the minor arcana numbered cards, this deck can be difficult for beginners to learn, but I think it's beautiful, just beautiful. And this deck is best for those who have a taste for antiquity and history. This old world style of art in these cards is really appealing and they certainly carry this, I don't know, air of history and of mystery. So it's not the best deck for beginners or who are just learning to read tarot cards for the first time because because without that narrative scene, the cards just are really hard to learn. And remember, it's really certainly a lovely uh, like addition to any more advanced tarot readers collection. It reads very similarly to the traditional Rider Waite Smith meanings too. So once you like have intuitively know what each of those pip cards are, transitioning to the Marseille deck is actually pretty easy. Moving forward in time from the Rider Waite Smith deck, we have the Thoth deck. And sometimes this call is called the Toth deck. So I've heard it pronounced both ways. I prefer Thoth just because it's the way it's spelled. So when you compare the Thoth deck to the Rider Waite Smith cards, you may notice right away that the imagery between these two is really quite different. With the Rider Waite Smith deck, it is really easy to guess at the meaning of the cards just by the story illustrated on each card for most of the cards. The Thoth deck is not quite so obvious or straightforward. The Thoth deck was developed by the famous or maybe infamous, depending on who you talk to, Alistair Crowley. The images of this deck are based on the secret principles of alchemy and ceremonial magic. And that's magic with a K, like real magic. This is often considered to be um, a really good deck for more advanced practitioners who want to learn more about the deep and complex world of alchemical symbolism, alchemical, I don't know how to pronounce that, Alchema alchemical symbol, whatever, the occult. It was designed to be a deck used for divination, but not personal development. And it's very much an occult deck designed for use with psychic powers. Like the Rider Waite Smith deck, the Thoth deck is divided into major arcana and minor arcana. In general, the card meanings tend to be quite different though, and in some cases, a lot more severe and really more negative than the Rider Waite Smith deck. So in general, I usually recommend that beginners start with learning the Rider Waite Smith meanings and then depending from there, um, expanding into a different direction. Without a really clear understanding of the basics of tarot, the Thoth deck might be confusing and difficult to read. Um, but I have to say, if it does appeal to you, you can dive right into it. Plenty of people do. It is no harder to learn than any other tarot deck. Now, what about Lenormand tarot cards? 
Well, they're actually not tarot cards. Lenormand cards get their name from a famous French psychic who used like a similar set of cards, but they are really not tarot cards, not in like any official sense. Lenormand cards serve a similar purpose to that of tarot, but the symbolism is quite different and they're used in a different way. So there are only 36 cards in the Lenormand deck rather than the 78 that's usually used in the tarot, making this a really clear and manageable system, especially learning those card meanings for individual cards. So the Lenormand cards do not correspond to the suits of the tarot, but instead they relate to the suits you would see in a modern day playing cards, you know, the spades, clubs, diamonds, and hearts. And this makes it actually possible to, for you to use a deck of regular playing cards to do a tarot reading, kind of on the sly, assuming that you know the Lenormand meanings by heart. The Lenormand is known for its very straightforward and often blunt answers to your questions. So while the tarot is highly intuitive and you can really take a reading card by card individually, the Lenormand cards are, they rely on different card combinations really to provide their meanings. So the meaning of each card is always altered by the cards which are surrounding it in a tarot spread. Additionally, unlike the tarot, which has like literally thousands, unlimited number of tarot spreads that you can use to read the tarot cards, Lenormand cards really have a very precise, limited number of traditional spreads to use. It's very particular and codified. Another difference between the Lenormand and tarot is that the tarot often explains the why of a situation, while the Lenormand cards focus much more on the how. So some people like to combine the two different systems to gain extra insight into their questions, and that is a really fun way to play around with it. So which deck is the best deck for you? All right, I'm totally biased, but I think the Rider Waite Smith based simple tarot deck, the one that comes in the starter kit, it is certainly the best deck for learning the basics in a fun and easy way. If you're a tarot beginner, there honestly is no best choice of deck. In all things, there's no one right answer for everyone. Once you understand the underlying patterns and themes of the cards, it becomes largely a matter of preference. Just like there's no right or wrong way to read the cards, there's no right or wrong choice of deck. Everyone has different artistic taste and every deck looks at the meanings of the cards from a different but kind of similar angle. So one of the greatest qualities of the Rider Waite Smith deck is that it is designed to tell a story and its symbols are crafted to communicate with your subconscious mind and unlock your intuition. In my experience, the Rider Waite Smith based tarot deck it's the easiest system to learn because the cards are all illustrated clearly and they relate directly to the card's meaning. So once you know the traditional Rider Waite Smith meanings, you can read the majority of the modern tarot decks out there. And that does not mean you need to go out and get the traditional Rider Waite Smith based deck. You can obviously if you want to, it's probably one of the cheapest decks you'll find out there. But if you get any modern deck that's based on the Rider Waite Smith based traditional meanings, that means you can read any other Rider Waite Smith based tarot deck. All right, so to get you started on your tarot journey, check out the Simple Tarot Starter Kit, which does include that beginner's deck, which has the Rider Waite Smith traditional keywords printed right on the cards. You can get a link down in the description to check out more. And to help you to get to know your Rider Waite Smith based tarot decks better, I'm going to send you to this next video, which is all about the common symbols you'll see on the cards of the Rider Waite Smith based deck. All right, I will see you there.